Alright, continuing on from where we were, let's keep going. So we want to stay outside of that range, which means Algimus can go... Curtis can go right there. And let's go ahead and give him the heavy spear. Let's get him there. Oh, I could have attacked. Oh well. Marks, it's about time to earn your keep. Are uh, you foreigner? You stab me, don't you? The order, acknowledgement, ready to fight. Now, from what I understand, Chiara's method of speaking is based on a anime, but I'm not exactly sure which anime or which character she's supposed to be. All I know is that she's based on a character. You know what? Curtis can take that. He's a champion. And because of my setup, Nagu can take this. No problem. animations on. Let's kill. Hey! Ooh! I believe that's a new crit animation for the soldiers. So good. So Chiara basically forces herself into the party. So Chiara is, in almost every single way, Raven from Blazing Sword. Same stat bases, same growth, same everything. So if you think, she, if you want to know if she's good, think about Raven how good he is. Now let's go ahead and turn her animations on. Alright, Boleslav, are you going to be good or bench fodder? Bench fodder. Oh well. I tried. Meanwhile, Martel continues to get better and better, which I am excited for. Now, what is he equipped with right now? His axe.
Mm. Right, well, Nagoo needs to kill this guy. Perhaps I can do a good chunk of damage to him first? Yes! So he might not get that double if he actually connects. Alright, let's get some met speed. You know what? That was still a really good level up. Holy crap. Ooh, that was exciting. And since she has nothing else to do, let's heal up that 1 HP. Alright, so the boss is talking about uh, Reserves and Brother Maynard, which I think actually might be a Monty Python reference. Dang it. then the game starts to screw up again. Right after I finish rebooting my system. Oh, this is bad. Get the kill, Boleslav. Alright, so... I actually do want to start making my army over to this side. After visiting. Keep it safe. Because as you saw, those bishops are going to start burning stuff. So satisfying. Oh, come on, Curtis, all those great level ups, and then you blow it.
Huzzah Nagoo! Alright, are you gonna be worthwhile? Yeah, you know what? That was a pretty good level up. Oh my god, Sven! Yes, that is what I want to see. So, I want to kill him and get him into range. Alright, so the reserves are coming very soon. Which is worrisome. Now, I believe I have two more turns before the bishop gets into range. And there's the reserves. Crap. Yeah, two turns. Chiara and Algamas will be okay over here. Actually, can I... Alright, Bolasov, can you make up for it? God dang it, you can make up for it. Pretty sure she's getting benched.
Sweet! Sven with the crit! Okay. Yeah, eventually, reinforcements are going to come from this side, but by that point, I'll be all set. I'm okay with Pegasus going after Boleslav. And there goes the slowdown again. That's the Pegasus dead. Which means I'm to stick Beatrice over here and tank all of the bishops. And it lets me bring in Sven. Nope. No, are you know what? Yes, they are. No map horses are in this game. I forgot about a certain character later on. Okay, I think I've got this stage basically done. The other houses have anything valuable to say? Because only the red roof houses have items. And yeah, that's all houses visited. A new item, and it's a hand axe. That'll be useful for Martel. So, does this one have anything useful to say? Nope. Literally nothing. How about this one? Nope. What can do is send over here and bait out that Pegasus. Ow. Beatrice with the tanking. So what I think I'm going to do, I believe one of these, the the item vendor there, 
does sell uh, pure waters, and I think I'm gonna pick some up. that heavy spear again. Oh, I don't like using the speed up button on recordings, but... And you know what, Sven? You come over here and you finish off... You finish off the armor knight. Leaving the goo free to kill the pegasus. ba ba -boo. Like I said, there are going to be more reinforcements, but basically cleared up the map, so not a big worry. level up for Beatrice. Is she going to be any good? I don't think so. Yeah, not really. Well, if she takes after her husband's tankiness, I'll say that. That's not a spoiler, is it? Nah. Curtis, or Martel. Martel has the blue gem. Let's go spend that. Oh, kid! Oh, shoot, the boss is coming. Oh, Beatrice with the kill. She wants to just finish off all those mages on that side. does have custom chat against uh, the tactician and I do want to show it off. I don't think either of those guys will outspeed the boss. Plus I think he has a javelin. You 
you think you can fell an Inquisitor? Kneel before the might of Zentir. Yeah, he does have a spear. Okay. Hey, Bolsov is his first crit. I'm actually surprised I outsped that ostrich, uh... Or, uh, mage. Oh my god. Okay, Boleslav. You kept your place. Vander! It's not. No, not in my house. Okay. Um. Let's just go ahead and buy that and then sell the blue gem. God dang it! Martel, you're too strong! But you know what? I can't be mad at the, the, the screen. Maybe on another recording, I'll, uh... It's basically the, the Inquisitor talking about how he turned out to be right about uh, them harboring black mages. Or dark mages. And with that, our Lady Claire should be mo should be impressed. So Clara has a fun habit of just sneaking up on Algimus out of nowhere. under this General Valborg. So here we get to talk about Algamus rushing into the battle without actually ta talking to the Inquisitor, or er, Tactician. Oh, and here's another small little detail that I absolutely love. Just the idea that Algamus, who grew up as a commoner in this time, wouldn't necessarily know how to read and write. But it does raise a question later on, and I'll, I'll mention it later, but apparently Coster has been teaching Algamus how to read and write. Algamus has a brother too, and he's an armorsmith. Hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty obvious connection, but it's uh, interesting the way they set it up, I think. Unreasonable is a rather tame word. <laughs> and I like that it's showing off that they're they have they're building respect for each other. But anyways, that is, so far, the hardest stage I've had to encounter thus far, and it's kind of haunting me for a while. E even in my previous runs, 
I'd rather get game overs or lose at least one or two units every single time I did that stage. This time, looks like I finally got it on my fourth attempt. But that's all for tonight. If you're living across the pond, good morning to you. For the rest of you, and in case I don't ever talk to you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Bye-bye.